All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna do a full review of this watch. I, I will eventually get one up, but I wanted to do an unboxing because I hate opening a box and all of a sudden showing you guys three weeks later that I got a new watch in. So this is the unboxing, and I really picked this watch up based on you guys. Um, when I did the Willard unboxing here months back, the Seiko Willard unboxing, a number of people posted on the channel, hey, we want you to pick up this watch, get this one, do a comparison video, or at least check it out for the price point. So I went ahead and ordered myself one. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know what this is going to be inside of here. Um, but, you know, interesting. And I, I, I got to be honest with you guys. I don't own the Willard anymore. I actually sold to a local friend. But I talked to him today, and he will loan the watch back to me if we actually want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two watches. So let's go ahead and check it out. Open up the box. So... Again, I have not seen this one, don't really know much about them. Um, besides that, a lot of people like them. I know a lot of people like them. I've been watching some cool videos, and I got a different colorway also. So go ahead and pull it out of here. Now, I will say that um, everything from Steel Dive is looking nice. So the watch I ordered is on a bracelet, which is nice. And they've thrown in a rubber strap with it, which is really nice, especially for the price point. Um, I can't, to be honest with you guys, I can't remember what I spent on this one. It wasn't a whole lot. Um, well under $200. I think it was around $130, bucks, something like that, plus some tax. And shipping was almost nothing. And talking about shipping, guys, it got to me super, super quick. So it's got some plastic on it. So I'm going to pause it here for just a second. We'll get this plastic off the watch, and then we'll take a little bit closer look at it. But again, no full review on this one. All right, so plastic off. I, I always feel like when I'm removing plastic from one of these watches I get out of China that, that somebody is secretly laughing at me because they know the frustration I'm going through trying to get the, the plastic off the watch strap because there's just some magic they do to keep it on there so well. So, all right, guys, so definitely a homage watch to the Seiko Willard or the Seiko 6105. The watch is beautiful. It's actually very stunningly beautiful here. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a full review of it. I decided to go with the blue model because if you guys remember when I bought the actual, uh, the, the newest Seiko uh, Willard reissue, I bought the black dial one. Um, they are offering a blue one now and I didn't go over and buy one of those, but I thought if I'm going to do the steel dive, why not do the steel dive in blue? So I'll play with this watch for a week or so, guys, and then we'll give it a full review. I'll kind of check out the timing and whatnot. But, you know, overall, a nice watch. I can tell you right off the bat, um, having owned the the newest in rendition of the Seiko, uh, this doesn't feel as high quality with the bracelet and whatnot. It feels good. It feels especially for the price point of like, 120 to 150 dollars. I mean, this feels really nice, but it doesn't, it, it's not that, it just doesn't feel like that same stake of quality, at least in the bracelet. The watch head really can't tell, um, but we'll get into more of that in the review. So guys, just a real quick unboxing of the steel dive here. You guys can see how it comes packaged. And uh, talking about the speediness of delivery, this watch, I ordered it, uh, gosh, I think it was like a week ago and it got to me from China in a week, you know, even with pandemic and everything else going on watches are still getting delivered out there so i'll leave links down below if you guys are interested in picking one of these up but stay tuned because like i said i will be releasing a full review video very very soon so thanks for turning me on to this guys this one guys uh if you like this quick unboxing video give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom and if you've not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can catch up when I do the full review. And also hit that little bell down there so you get notified when I'm doing a new video. So, all right, guys, thanks.